Alrighty, new version here, no sound. Alright, alright. Cool, cool. Let me check out a couple things here. Careful when you have a... And let me bring this in a little bit more. When you have a path that goes this way, but the body... I mean, I know this is pointing up, but the head is pointing this way. It gives it a bit of a, a translady 2D cart type of feel. And I think as an overall structure, if we have a path like this, I would have... I'm totally guessing what the path is here. <laughs> what is he doing? Down and over. Ah, not too bad. Not too bad for a guess. So if you look at this, it's kind of... Imagine as you go up here. It's not. I know it's not that steep, but your body would be like this. And then the head is following that. You can still have the wings like that, but it would, the body's more like that is better. And then as you go down... See, this feels better with the path like this. Not sure I would snake around this here where the tail, especially during this section, is doing so much. I will probably simplify it so you have a, a nice C curve like that as it follows that path. But that's the main impression when I get at the beginning. Comes in and it feels a bit like we're pointing this way, but we're going up this way. Feels a bit translated. It almost... I don't know if there's a spacing hiccup. Watch out. Maybe I'm just maybe it's because of the entrance, but it feels like we're rising pretty fast. And then suddenly we're kind of flattening out a bit harshly. It's very subtle, but there's something where maybe it's just adding two frames to the entrance where it just feels not so fast. The other thing too that's a bit odd is that just visually as you come in, we're already on a downward with the with the wings. Not that that's wrong, but there's something about we're cupping to get ready for a flap while we're going up. And it kind of, to me visually, is like, hmm, if the wings were up like this, then I buy that the dragon is gliding up and then decides to go down. Whereas here, I mean, you can argue that it's, the dragon just did a cra crazy flap and that's why it's still going up. But there's something visually, to me, that it just fights going down like this again this pointing down while we're going up so to me it would be you keep those wings like this bring up that neck like that and the wings are up in a uh, in a glide until around here and then you can you can do this with the wings because also the wings are still a bit slow definitely faster but i think you could be okay with a slight speed up and then you don't have to go so low if it's just a you know, if it's a, a glide and it's just like an adjustment flap and not a flap down to actually go up, you can go not as low and don't fold as much. And in that way, you can still end up in this pose into this down. See, that to me is more like an adjustment flap, which is cool. And I think you can have that here as well. That's cool. I think to me, once you get into, into here... We are a bit too jazz hands, fingers where I would I wouldn't go like fan out those little ones so so much where it's a bit more of a contained shape there. And then this one's just speed wise, right? It goes up and then I'm seeing a speed up in this section, but it's still in a glide turn where this is more again more of a an adjustment flap and not one where. Even though they will keep, they will go back to front. Sometimes you can, to me at least, you can break a little bit and almost do a swimmy one where you go front to back to have kind of a speed surge that would be here. But it's not happening. So to me, this is still more of a glide. So watch out your translate that it doesn't have in your graph a certain wee, a certain speed up there. Not quite buying it. If you want to have that speed up, then through there, I would have stronger flaps and I would do two. Maybe start around here and go into that. If that makes sense. Other than that, I think the tail is okay. Bit of a, maybe a harsh stop here, but it's not too crazy. To me, it's more this complicated shape where I would just simplify. Like all of this just feels too spread out finger-wise, you know, the membrane fingers. 
and that in terms of the complexity of this arc but i will keep this simplified and this not as um you know fanny out so it's a bit of a simpler shape into that turn what you can do if you do want to keep this in terms of a speed up then i then i would do this and then you can do a flap and because it goes down then you can start speeding up through this section there instead of up and i know it's low compositionally but it, to me visually it would make more sense than going up and rising i know it goes down here but it's just that speed up through there no, that i'm not quite buying and that is kind of that yeah let me know if you have any questions definitely better always open to you know different directions whatever you want to keep notes and all that good stuff and if you're that close you know maybe you want to do a bit of a ca -ca opening that would maybe also help if you slow this down a couple frames you can do a bit of a you know you could almost have a bit of an up with the head and then the head goes down into like a left lean and if there's time again it seems a bit fast coming in really just like two three frames being very picky here Alrighty, thank you. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.